I, I'm sitting here contemplating my navel as to what I should do next. I'm, I'm seeing sort of hills, a tumbling stream, or a lake, or both, or all of them, with trees. Things that, that I know a lot of you like, but what you like doesn't mean to say it's necessarily easy to paint and pull off. I'm going to use the three colours again that I used a couple of hours ago. Oh, so I went the paper, the Fabriana, 130 pounds, cold pressed. I'll use uh, raw sienna, light red, and ultramarine. And I'll make all my colours and tones with just those three. Oops, some of the black there. Okay, it's just oh, it's really good wet. Right, got some nice warm raw sienna, dirty raw sienna. So the, the paints I use are Cotsman 21mm tubes. The, uh, the bristles split quite badly in the sky in the last one, but this is a different, an older hake. So that gives the warm behind the clouds and behind the, the landscape. Also, tends to unify the picture. A oh, well, uh, bit of bit of uh, ultramarine low down. This is the height that was losing lots of hairs. Right, so now we're we'll bringing in some nice clouds. Blue and red. Don't want to make this too busy, but, but it, the tendency is to do just that. But a little goes a long way. Get some nice red in there to coming down. Right, so I'll put in, I'll just reclip the paper. As you can see, the paper grows as it absorbs the water on the surface. Just pull it tight. If you've got arthritis in your wrist, it hurts a bit. Right, so we'll put in some bluey, reddy. A bit higher there, a bit warmer. Right, let's get in some sienna. A bit of blue, a bit of, bit of yellow. Get some green tinges. Right, that's nice and light, so I don't want it heavy. But I want to put in some trees against this. Now, the lake, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a lake now. Well, well, we can do something in there. 
get some nice warm darks. Just mixing three colours to get nice So I can superimpose some rocks in, in that. Cooler as we go into the distance. And we can put some trees along there. And there won't be any reflections in the water here. in here. Going to nothing. Got some nice darks in there. So you can go very dark with these primaries. Let's go back with these rocks on the left. Oh, we'll just get some blue in there. Okay, so let's put in some harder here. Yeah, they don't want it too dry because I've got to edge this out for, for rocks. Right, find the plastic card. Let's go into here and oh, I'm not doing that, but we'll just come across here with some. Boulders coming across here. Okay, let's just put a bit more in there. to do a bit of texturing in maybe here that won't take it so we'll we'll put some trees and stuff just just blue in there blue and yellow Doing this in, in blue. Let's 
got a bit darker there. There's a bit of red. Well, quite delicate using the corner of this hake. So I just this really could be anywhere, but we'll call it Lake District because that's the place I am acquainted with. Not that often, but now we've got these mountains here. I'm going to put a bit of detail on those. Just trying to texture and warm up the middle distance there because I want to go over the uh, right now we can go in with some faint blue and red. I hope that's not too dark. It's just some sort of detail in here. Just want to show the shape of the the land there. Put in some heavier stuff. I'll wait for that to, to, to dry first. I'll, I'll just do a bit of texture on on the, this, this rocky area here. Bit of texture. No, I think we can we can put some nice heavier stuff in there. Size of blue for the dark is coming down, cover up some of that. I really like the challenge of using a, a limited palette, it stops you fiddling and fussing, trying to get colours that you. You, you have second thoughts about trying to to do it's a uh, I'm trying to, I want it dark but I want it warm so it comes forward okay let's get some real good dark in there now the time I put some uh, branches and stuff in there. Okay, we can do similar stuff over here. If you don't like these ones, let me know. Let's just put some in here. So 
So I'm discovering things about the hake as I go along. These are the sort of trees. Don't bother be frightened about using colour. Okay, so let's just just etch out. You can do that when the paint's wet. Just, I'll, I'll uh, justify that. Right, now we want to do some some tiny stream going around the river, going down there. So blue predominantly. Just enough white left there. Uh, need a bit there, really. A bit of dark, just reflecting a bit of what's above it. Okay. I don't know. I'll, I'll just grind it off. So take your headphones off. Strengthen up that foreground to the hip down here. Uh, right. Now I've taken out some of that. Oh, I can just lift. Now I've wetted it, I can just, just soften it enough to not quite enough. But well, that'll do. This might be going a bit dark here, but. Uh, Right, I'll just dry that. Right, now, let's see if this is really dry. Oops. You can, you can scrape. Just a little bit of detail in, in here. Right, 
Uh, this is getting very somber, isn't it? Okay. Just show some. Just extending the tree beyond the canopy. Right, okay, there's not much I can do with that. I'll put a figure in. Going to search for a bit of fishing rod. A bit corny, I know, but. At the moment I'm not very happy with it. I'll sign it, we'll have a look at it anyway. So this with this you don't really have to be too fussy about the horizon. Right across there it can but it's from shape really. Right, it's the uh, the usual blue. I must get some, get some more of this Mount Carden. Well, there we are. It's, uh, it's got quite a bit of colour considering I've only used those three. But I think we're a bit muddy in this area here. But I, I reckon that will look okay online. The computer does enhance the contrast somewhat. So there's my stream. A little fisherman just dangling his rod. And some fields in the background, trees, and then a bit of distance, a lot of distant hills there. It's good practice for me as well. Well, I went back to watercolour two years ago, or over two years ago, two years, three months ago, to help a friend out. And I've more or less, upon the acrylics, I've more or less stayed with it. Uh, the things I can improve the skies. I'm, I'm going for a bad spell with the skies at the moment, I think. But other things. Well, see what, see what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.